which had not been classified by the Kenya Classification Board, contrary to Section 12 of the Films and Stage Plays Act, Cap 22 Laws of Kenya. And for operating a film studio and producing films without valid filming license from the Kenya Films Classification Board, contrary to Section 4 of the Films and Stage Plays Act. Section 32 of the Films and Stage Plays Act, Cap 22 Laws of Kenya, provides that any person who is guilty of an offense under this act shall be liable to a fine not exceeding 100,000 shillings or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding five years or to both such fine and imprisonment. Number two, where any person convicted, the court by which the person is convicted may, where the offense relates to making of a film, order the confiscation and destruction of the film and revoke the filming license relating to the making of that film, part B, where the offense relates to exhibition, order for the confiscation and destruction of the film, and in addition, or instead revoke the certificate of approval given, if any, counsel for the accused in mitigating, stated that the accused is a family man, and he is the provider, further, that the accused person has undergone lots of torture during the pendency of this case. I believe that was towards the violation of his rights, he added that the accused person was charged with a similar offence and that the current offence is one that may have been committed unintentionally as he was in possession. He further stated that the accused person is remorseful, sought for leniency as he has a family of seven children that need to be taken care of by him and thus sought for an uncustodial sentence, at which point the court sought for a pre-sentence report whose findings reiterate his being a family man and the fact that he is remorseful. In the pre-sentence report, it is added that the accused person stated that he is no longer in the business of preaching and that the lack of a film classification board license was an oversight as he did not know of the need to get such a license save for the one for broadcasting and thus sought for leniency. Moreover, the accused stated that he closed the church and sold off the TV station, hence he will not reoffend. On the flip side, it is stated in the said report that the Films Classification Board stated that the offender was still a threat to vulnerable and unsuspecting members of the public and that the proliferation of such unclassified content had long-lasting and heinous effects on persons consuming the content. The prosecution too, in submission, referred court to the sentence policy guidelines, which I shall make recourse to in meeting out sentence. And also made reference to, the, to case law on sentencing, further directed the court to the case of Shadrach Kipkoech, Kogo versus Republic, where the court stated that sentence is essentially an exercise of the court's discretion. In light of the foregoing, I do consider that the accused person is 50 years of age, his remorsefulness, and the fact that he indeed learned his lesson and closed down shop and relocated, thus does not operate and run the said Good News International Church and that he sold off his TV station. I also consider the length of time taken for this case to be concluded, the resources that may have been resulting thereof, that he is a family man and they depend him on their source of livelihood. I'm also cognizant of the accused diligent attendance to court. All the foregoing are in so far as mitigating circumstances are concerned. In respect to the charge of possession and exhibition, the defense counsel in mitigation stated that the accused had been charged with a similar offense, thereby making him a repeat offender. That however, the said offense may not have, have been intentional this cannot be the case, for once the accused person had been charged, that was information enough to him that he was running against the law and he ought to have refrained from the same and, and not to call for deterrence from the court. As such, he knowingly reoffended. In addition, indeed it is true that the long haul effects on the viewers of the unauthorized content are grave and have tumultuous effects in the long run. In light of the, going, of the foregoing, in respect to count two, I hereby sentence the accused person to 12 months imprisonment, while in respect to count three, 
the accused person's explanation of not knowing the need for a license from the Film Classification Board, having obtained a broadcasting one, is a reasonable, though not entirely acceptable, as ignorance of the law is no defense, hence the resulting conviction. And in light of the same, I sentence the accused to six months imprisonment. The sentences shall run concurrently. Right of appeal, 14 days. The offending content being the DVDs and external hard disk produced in court be forfeited to the state and handed over to the director, Films Classification Board for destruction. <laughs>